All right, we are live here in Montreal, Canada. The home, or the, the home currently of INCW. The arena is jam-packed. We are, it's lemonade. Like, let's go, lemonade. Trying to hype myself up about it, but I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna work any, cause, man, I don't know. We have a hell of a show, I'm telling you. So the matches you see right here are the only four matches on the card unless we hit our goal. If we hit our goal, we will get an NWC World Championship match where Bartholomew Brawler Beckett puts it, let's say that five times fast, puts his NWC World title on the line against probably the worst writer in wrestling history, Corey Carnes. Um, the man does his best. He put on a pretty decent show. People liked it. However, he's not me. Uh, we don't do writing here in INCW. We don't do writing anywhere in the NWC. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. We're about two minutes out from starting this bad boy off. Oh. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. <laughs> but yeah, so just a quick rundown of the matches we have tonight. We have Carlito versus Average Joe. People wanted Carlito. People are getting Carlito. I know personally when he showed up in the Royal Rumble this year, I lost my damn mind because I never saw that coming. I thought he was gone from wrestling for good with, us, with the exception of his appearances in Glow. Um... Then we have the unlikely duo of John Cena and Kenny Omega versus the Mass Saboteurs, former two-time INCW Tag Team Champions. Before too long, they'll be the three-time INCW Tag Team Champions, but that's neither here nor there. Um, John Cena and Kenny Omega have never been in the same promotion, let alone the same ring. So, watching those two in the ring together is going... I feel like the Mass Saboteurs got this under control. It is also an elimination tag match. So, when your partner gets taken out, you have... It's now 2v1. <laughs> then we have Goldberg versus Patrick in a first blood match. Goldberg will bl make himself bleed before he even gets down the ramp. So, I feel like Patrick has this one in the bag. And then for our potential main event, Big Show answers the Sokolov Invitational as he faces off against Victor Sokolov. I'll be doing a, I'll be doing inventory of our donations as the night goes on, uh, or as the show goes on. We need to hit 1.2 million. That's all we got to do. All you have to do is match what Brawler Beckett has already put up, and everybody's fine. Fresh out of respect, bro. How about some Brawler Beckett already in the chat. Carlito making his way down to the ring. Just happy to be back inside the squared circle. Thing gets us kicked off quick. It's gonna be Carlito also taking a sweet time getting down here. I don't know if Carlito is ready for the Thigh Master 2.0. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. If he can catch that, uh, if he can catch that patented backstab. He, uh, he might be able to pull this one off, but I highly doubt it. I've I've seen many people fall to the Thigh Master and the Thigh Master 2.0. I myself have fallen to the Thigh Master, and it was not enjoyable. Average Joe representing the camp and all of the people in the world who haven't quite decided what they are yet. We, we accept all types here in INCW. Um, Average Joe 
is one of the pivotal members of the camp, uh, as well as uh, uh, the NWCW heavyweight champion, uh, the third company in the NWC. Average Joe is the champion of it. So, I mean, that, that says things. Speaks volumes. All right. And here we go. Out the gate with the toe kick. Carlito into a Hurricane Rana. It's almost like Average Joe didn't know what to expect because Carlito hasn't been in the ring in almost a minute. To the small the back. Oh, and then Average Joe throwing all their weight into Carlito. Carlito with a stomp to the back. Just toe kick after toe kick. Oh, it, oh my God. I have never seen Average Joe be that aggressive. And just a little, just a little tomfoolery on the mat here. Average Joe taking all of the size of the match. Carlito's got to put a little bit of extra in there. And does. Uses the high center of gravity on Average Joe to get that. Get that head scissors pulled off yet again. And then a big right hand. Follows all the way to the floor here. Right hand by Joe. And face first goes Carlito into the ring apron here. Goes for a chop, Carlito blocks, and Carlito back in the ring. Goes for a toe kick yet again. And this time, Average Joe, handful of Afro, dragging Carlito's face to the back. Ooh! With the fungus. And in a big open hand chop. Ooh, following it up with a bear. I don't know what was going on there. It looked like Average Joe is enjoying himself. There we go. Average Joe catches, uh, gets caught with a dragon screw. Carlito making some level of a uh, comeback here. That's Joe in the corner. Oh, went for the back elbow, but Joe reversed and found one of his own. Look at this. Just slapping the hell out of him and throws him by the neck. Joe has Carlito in a corner. Oh, big bell clap. Oh, no, no, no. This is never good. Oh, inverted Alabama slam. Carlito almost had all the teeth knocked out of his head. Joe fighting back. Carlito trying to get out of that corner. Got three of the wrist lock. Has Joe up. Big power. Drop Joe back down. And another. We got hit. Carlito's own version of that Chimera Plex right there. SB Marvel in the chat for the first time in a long time. Carlito might be setting up for that backstabber here. Got it. And there you go, right to the lumbar. As Joe, dead center of the ring, rolling back towards the ropes. One, two. Oh, Joe kicks out at two. Carlito gonna have to put a little bit more work into the mat, into the match. Get this taken care of right here. Joe rolls to the center of the ring. Carlito, oh, with a big leg drop. Goes for the pin now. One, two, no. Just a two count. Carlito is beside himself. And a kick to the lower back. Just gonna focus on the midsection. Big, big back body drop by Joe. Donate a further hundred shillings. All right, we are at one point two million dollars and a hundred shillings. I don't, I don't know what shillings are, but we got a hundred dozen. Oh, look at this! Joe was too close to the rope, but had. Carlito in a precarious position there. Carlito to the corner. Ooh, and a big hip attack. And then a big body splash, crossbody even. One, 
two. No. Carlito out of the, out at two. Thank God. Carlito ducks under. Back body drop. Locks the wrist. German suplex. And then has Joe up into a vertical. Once again, his own version of the Chimera Flex. Got that arm trapped. Trying to pull Joe away from the ropes. If he can wear Joe down, he can get that pin. And he got the predictions up. Spend your points. Spend your points. Who's going to win this? Will it be Joe or Joe or Bro? Will it be Joe or Carlito? <laughs> Carlito setting up for another backstabber. Has Joe down. Goes for the pin here. One, two, three. And Carlito picks up the win over average Joe. Congratulations to Carlito, his first and only match here in INCW. Carlito was a uh, a special request from a one Coco Bean. Um, Coco Bean with a special request for Carlito in this match. Speaking of which, I need to take this time while we're watching replays to let someone know about this. Carlito with the celebration. <coughs> this match right here could blow the roof off the building. This might be the greatest wrestling match ever. Ever. Not Orton versus Edge. Ever. Birthday episodes of canon, bro. So. It's just a matter of, uh, matter of opinion. <laughs> the Omega Powers versus the Saps. Kenny Omega. I believe Kenny Omega could survive against the Saboteurs in a handicap match. It doesn't start as a handicap match, but it might become... A, actually, there ain't no might. It will become a handicap match at some point because it will be 1v2. That will happen. And then it may drop down to a singles match, or it may just end as a handicap match. However... That's what we're looking at right now. What? The natural Kevin Starr is in here putting points for the challenge? What is going on? Good to see John Cena forgot his uh, INCW gear at home. Appreciate that. Yeah, I get the joke. I just choose not to uh, acknowledge John Cena being invisible. Because if he was invisible, he would have never upset me as bad as he had.
What is our challenge goal? I need to see what the challenge is. Why is it not pulling up? Why is Shade throwing up C Nation um, No, no, no more Cena shirts. We're, we've moved past that. And here we have their opponents who have already shown more tag team. Yes, I did a posture check. Hey, I'm setting up. You can't see me I'm on camera. Um, or I'm not on camera, but I'm sitting up straight. Also, let it be known. If, for some reason, we meet our goal and... Um, if, for some reason, we meet our goal and we have our main event match, Chet Lemon himself will be the commentator over the NWC World Championship match. Straight up. to donate to Mr. Lemon four free tickets to his new Broadway production, Phantom of the Grand Ole Opry. Oh my god. And here we go. Kenny Omega and Mass Saboteur number one started off. Big scoop slam by number one. Is already down one tonight. Uh, Carlito won the first match. Thank you to Coco Bean for the Carlito suggestion. Carlito beat average. Kenny Omega with a mid rope moonsault. Mass Saboteur number one. Tag made the Mass Saboteur number one. Mass Saboteur number one with a scoop slam. It's almost like we've seen this before. And Kenny Omega with the DDT on the Mass Saboteur number one. Dragging the Mass Saboteur to the center of the ring. Hits him with a standing moonsault. Sends the Mass Saboteur number one into the corner. Big reversal. The Mass Saboteur sends Kenny across the ring. Tags in number one. The middle rope with a heart punch. Elevated heart punch, assisted heart punch, whatever you want to call it. He's taking his time. All sizzle, no stay. Kenny Omega tags in John Cena. John Cena with the shoulder tackle already firing off the five moves of doom and gets stuffed by uh, Mass Saboteur number one. The Saboteur has a hold of his arm and is now stomping away at his fingertips. I bet he wishes that he couldn't be seen right now. And a break to the back by Mass Saboteur number one. Kick to the midsection. KDT by Cena. Big match. John is here to put on not such a big match. More of like a. It's the second match of the show. That's like below mid card. Big back body drop by the Mass Saboteur number one. Cena sends the Mass Saboteur number one into the, his own corner, into Cena's corner right there. And uh, it all fails. It all falls apart miserably. Kenny Omega was not there. And now John Cena trying to unleash the five moves of doom once again. Got one shoulder tackle down. 
Going for a deadlift into a gut wrench. Ooh, gut wrench suplex. Second quarter number one with the clothesline. Now, sending John Cena into the corner. Cena fights back, gets out of the corner, and the ref is down. Not surprised. Not surprised at all. Cena with the tag to Kenny Omega. Sends the mass saboteur off the ropes. And a big hip toss by both of them. And goes right after the arm of Kenny Omega. Who will be the first one eliminated here? Big, big knee lift. Sends Omega over the top rope. For a B trigger right there. Almost got it. It was just enough. Omega with the goodbye, good night nonsense. Has the mass saboteur number one up on his shoulders, but he fights free. Punch to the midsection. Referee is at a count of five, it sounds like. Ooh! Kick to the back of the head. Referee at a count of seven. The mass saboteur number one's back in the ring. And now Kenny. Kenny was out there for a count of eight, taking his sweet time. Big boot. <coughs> Sweep of the leg by the mass saboteur. Kenny pushes him away. What is he setting up for here? Oh, big right hand has him up. The most protected move in sports entertainment and wrestling. One, two, no, just a two count. John Cena with the Lucas press. Kenny Omega, so used to winning off of the one wing angel, he raised his hand in the and realized it wasn't over. A big close line, followed by another big close line. Omega is fired up and a super kick. Follow suit. Ooh, punch to the back. Sends the mass saboteur number one into the corner. Tags in big match John. Drop to a hold. And an elbow drop to the back. Mass saboteur number one is back in. Went for the drop kick and missed it. Big match John has him up. Ooh. 
And he steps through for the STFU. He got the STFU applied. But no, the mass saboteur number one fights through. Sent back across. Oh no! Big match John with the juke. Caught him with a shoulder tackle. Again sends him into the corner. As he goes, nope. With the reversal. Mass Saboteur number one fighting back. Kick to the midsection. Ooh, and then a knee lift. Here it is. Heart punch. Heart punch right to the surface of the pan. Pictura. One, two. No. Cena kicks out. Corner. Number one with the reversal. Cena with the reversal. Back and forth action with the elbows. Ooh, and another high knee. And that Saboteur number one is not letting Cena get to his corner. Has that camel clutch applied? Cena with the strength. Breaking the grip of the Mass Saboteur. Pushes out the back door, sweeps the legs. Big drop kick. Elbow directly to the chest. Kick to the midsection. Cena with the gut wrench. Has him up. And all the way back now. First pinball or submission will drastically change the complexion of this match. in a body part like that. Um, should have been done early on, but it's fine. Take care of it when you can. And a vertical suplex. Number one, taking some time outside, taking a breather. The mass 
for number one. Sitting in the corner, fights his way back out of it. Fight or flight has kicked in hard for the saboteur. Locked up. Ooh, got the, the claw locked in on the abdomen. And Kenny is out. He can't breathe. He's done for. All of his core strength is gone. One, two, oh, and big match John breaking it up again. Kenny now. Going to tag his partner. His partner is nowhere to be seen. Where is his partner? Why is Kenny on the other side of the ropes like this? It's turned into a singles competition. What is going on? Is the Sanator wrestling himself? How is he able to do this? Look, Defy Gravity is the mass Sanator number one. Kenny sitting outside, familiar with wrestling. The Invisible Man himself. The five moves of Doom locked in. Wonderful act on display here by the Mass Saboteur. I don't know what's happening here. The Mass Saboteur is laid out. Kenny Omega can go for the pin at any point in time when he chooses not to. I don't... I don't know what's happening. Mass Saboteur shadow boxing now. Ooh! Why would you make yourself lose if you're shadow boxing? The ref is confused as well. And somehow the ref counts a three on the Saboteur pinning his I don't I don't know how any of that is Mass Saboteur number one I might add put on a hell of a show. I don't know what mind control shenanigans was happening there with Omega. Oh, it's good to see John Cena has decided to come back. John Cena back to uh, celebrate a victory here. The camp is 0-2 right now at an event planned for Chet Lemon, one of their biggest supporters. It looks like we're a little over halfway there. Yeah, we're, we're actually, oh wow. After that match, apparently the mass Saboteur allowing himself to be pinned by himself and the ref counting it, that, that was enough to put us, we're three quarters of the way na there now. We, we are almost at the 2.4 million mark. I wanna thank everybody for their, do their generous donations. On to the next match, Patrick versus Goldberg in a first blood match.
take this time to thank y'all for tuning in to IMCW yet again. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Nick, I appreciate that comment. I really needed it because of Goldberg and that particular explosion we talked about that made me very upset. So combining them together, perfect humor, or at least good humor. But anyways, while you're here, Nick, first of all, great show yesterday. Um, y'all should go look up Nick Van Anderson, by the way. He started his own wrestling promotion, so if you like what you see here, you might like what you see over there, too. Just, just throwing that out there. Shameless plug. While you're here, though, press that follow button. Press that follow button. If you got Amazon Prime and you don't subscribe to anybody else here on Twitch, subscribe to us, please. We have all the content. All the content. And here comes Patrick, the demon-possessed one. I don't know why he's here. I don't know why he's going to that. That's the whole Blackwell shit. I don't, I don't know. It, it. Oh, man. All right. Goldberg already with a neck breaker. And here we go, Patrick. Strong Irish whip sending Goldberg into the corner. Goldberg is a former hardcore champion, I believe. Um, he held one of the titles here in INCW. That was great. Oh, we got a tier one subscription. Appreciate the sub, Nick. Mr. Van Anderson, whichever one you uh, whichever one you prefer to be called by. Got the double underhooks. Ooh, it's a DDT. The Goldberg into the mat. Patrick is in a hurry to bust him open. Just dribbling the head of Goldberg off the mat. If anything has been seen from the match with Goldberg and the Undertaker, Goldberg is very susceptible to concussions. All of his muscles are everywhere but the top of his head. Big close on Patrick fighting back now. And up and over. Patrick with the stomp of the head. Followed it up with a big elbow just focusing all on the face. Good Lord. Leg drop, elbow drop, and a chop! All of them ending right there on the face. Yeah, I was also shocked that Goldberg doesn't have a bloody head before he even got out of the But, you know, it is what it is. Patrick laying in the right and left. Shoulder tackles. Goldberg has Patrick Goozled. Has him up. Ooh, and a big power slam. Or a big spine buster, rather. Goldberg went for the point. Patrick with the back elbow. Patrick and Goldberg. Slightly matched blow for blow right here. I don't know how. now backing up into the corner and he's setting up for that patented spear spear Patrick Goldberg now looking maybe for that jackhammer Patrick rolls through Ooh, and a vicious DDT now Patrick laying in left hands Corner. What is Pat 
to think here. You would think at some point someone would remove the turnbuckle. That seems like a solid way to get some blood. I think this is the worst off we've seen Patrick since his return. Goldberg with a at, very agile standing drop kick. Patrick, though. Oh, and Patrick is the winner with that straight jacket DDT. Busted Goldberg wide open. Just when it looked like Patrick wasn't going to be able to pull out that victory. Good Lord. Look at this right here. Straight jacket. Ooh, into the DDT and Goldberg was busted wide open. The whole ring is illuminated. bigger explosion than the end of revolution we have the big show versus victor sokolov goldberg recently signing with i uh with AEW, answering the call A donation of 2,930. Well, that's a total. Yes, people, this in how did you not remember realize that this entire event is for Chet Limit? It's literally called Lemon Eight. And here we go. Big show looking for a right hand, looking for the weapon of mass destruction out the corner. But Sokolov instantly with the Ushiguroshi following it up with vicious headbutts. And the vicious choke. The Siberian psychopath taking down the giant with ease. Big show now. Send Sokolov into the corner. Oh, went for a spear, and Sokolov cut him off with the pass. Fighting away at the hands. Oh my god. 
Sokolov is an actual monster. <laughs> oh, Big Show connects with a right hand finally and dazes the psychopath. Doesn't take him down, just dazes him. And now Big Show is seven foot, 500 plus pounds, and Sokolov is throwing him around like a cruiserweight. Got distracted the ref. Oh, went for the big WMB and got caught with a clothesline. Ref making sure the pad is securely in place. Prescott earning his keep once again. Big show now. Oh, with a big scoop slam. Got him tied up. Big Show kicks free. Now Sokolov going after the legs again. Steps under. Oh, big gut buster. Big close line. And again, with the right hand, just gazing Sokolov. Get to the midsection by Big Show. Sokolov fighting free yet again. Oh, went for a headbutt, caught an elbow. Big Show now with a big vertical in hand. Sokolov, these are two behemoths. The ring is not safe. Outside the ring is not safe. The crowd is not safe. The INCW Arena and Montreal, Canada are not safe. has been busted wide open. Neither one of these men going for a pin here. Choking right out of Big Show. Sokolov again dumped on his back. But Big Show, he's blinded now. Like, how is he? Ooh! Just like that, gonna hang him out to dry on the top rope. right in the neck and shoulder. Trying to squeeze all the light, all the feeling out of that arm. Ooh, showstopper. I think that's what it's called. Was it called a showstopper? No, no, that's a big old leg drop, though. And Prescott yet again involved in the match right as Sokolov takes control. Or right as Big Show takes control, rather. Big Show shows any sign of winning and Prescott is up there with the quickness. Sokolov showing signs of a true champion rolling outside. Oh, with a big boot. And back and forth. 
Oh, Sokolov has, has him up. Big scoop slam. straps. It could be over right here, folks. Oh! Another big right hand! Samalov is still alive! He's still awake! And sends Big Show to the outside! How? How? Two back-to-back -back big right hands and Sokolov is unfazed. Load. Oh, belly to belly suplex. Sokolov not even staggering, biting the hand, chewing the hand alive. And a Siberian leg sweep. The Big Show's out. The Big Show is out, and Sokolov continues on his path of dominance. Oh my God. It looks, I mean, Look at the brutality of this match. I'm trying to look between. I'm trying to look between where the donations are and this match itself. Sokolov may be a force to be reckoned with. And it looks like we have done it. We are at 2.46 Yeah, we made it. We definitely made it. Um, we are about to see an NWC World Championship match between Bartholomew Brawler Beckett and Corey Carnes. Corey, um, I I apologize. I suppose you brought this on yourself. Let me uh let me let me go ahead and tag in our commentary for this evening for this particular match. Um holy crap. This is a. Uh, this is not good. This is not good for Corey. Um, but yeah, I I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, I may get some words in after the match is over, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna step aside and let Chet Lemon, who is braving the elements, to come out here and commentate over the match that is here for him um yeah i, I appreciate y'all watching and, and please enjoy this impromptu title match 
<sighs> Hello, everyone. Um, I appreciate you for for partaking in this incredible, illustrious event uh, for yours truly. Um, I, I have to say, I am I am truly humbled. Um, I'm, I'm humbled by everything that I've seen here tonight, by the outpour of by the outpour of support, the text messages, the fundraising, um, the match suggestions. Every, it's almost like everyone knew exactly what I wanted to see. Um, and you've only known me for a few months here. Um, a special thanks to the camp and uh, Lord Beckett for um, having this wonderful idea. Um, for, for his sizable do donation and daring anyone to match it. Um, I, am, I, I hate to repeat myself, but I am beyond humble at what we have seen here uh, in INCW today for Women Aid. For me, Aid. It's Aid for me. This is... It's, it's truly incredible. My faith in humanity has been restored. Goodness. Corey Carnes, a brave soul. He didn't have to accept this challenge. I mean, honestly, who would want to pass up the opportunity to share a ring with such a gentleman, such a, a, a chivalrous being that is Lord Beckett? I mean, not just anyone can be the champions of our mothers. It, it takes a special man. It takes a, a man of high caliber. To be our mother's champion. Our mothers are special women. And they should be championed as such. Here he comes now. As as this this writer prepares to face off against the NWC world champion and your mother's champion and a Scottish lord and the inaugural INCW King of the Ring and the PWA Grand Rumble Champion and better than all of you it, he's just he's such an inspiration if, if, if no one was inspired and I know you were because you donated you, you answered his call you answered his call to help the likes of me a lowly commentary individual I I don't even know where to begin. I, I take that back. I know exactly where to begin. I will call the absolute greatest NWC title defense ever right here tonight. <coughs> I believe uh, the time in the hospital, I've come down with a, a slight head cold. Um, but it's, it's nothing too severe. Just, just a little pain in the back of the head, which is to be expected when Mr. Chronic decided to assault me from behind, not once, but twice. Um, all I did was openly express, I openly expressed my love of a faction, my love of a caliber of wrestler, and the oppressive INCW locker room tried to take that away from me. But as you've all seen, I sided correctly. I chose the correct faction. I chose the team. I chose the black women. All of them representing themselves wonderfully. Win, lose, or draw. The NWC title. Look at this. That's what it's all about. I would love to hold that title one day. I'm not even a wrestler, but it is it is marvelous. And here we go. Right out of the gate, a cheap shot, a closed fist. What kind of, what kind of wrestling is this? A closed fist from Mr. Carnes. Lord Beckett, though, with the side headlock immediately goes under, then goes over, and wisely countered the drop kick. Mr. Carnes has absolutely no idea. A brave soul he may be, but brave and stupidity are horses of different colors. They're the same color. I don't know that. 
but they're the same thing, but they're different. Look, Lord Beckett shaking the man's hand, thanking him for this wonderful chance to show showcase his skills at my event. Look at this. Right here. Beautiful snap suplex. No one does the snap suplex better. You won't find anyone that can snap suplex better than that. And the only thing to top it is that knee drop. The beautiful knee drop, the hand across the face to make sure he can't come out. It, it was all show. It was all show. We were watching specifically to see what Brawler Beckett was capable of. He's not ready to get that first ball. Look at this. a single leg and then doesn't capitalize oh my goodness he was nowhere near prepared for this match oh using his body to take Lord Beckett to the outside and and caused more damage to himself missing an entire attack to a Lord Beckett whose sheer prowess wouldn't allow him to the blow to the net beautiful single leg here we go. Beckett into the corner. Look at him. Look at Beckett. Wiley, a great veteran in sport. Telling everyone that you're all number one. I'm number one. He's number one. Goes for the pin of Mr. Hart. Mr. Hart's unwisely kicks out. I would just stay down and let it happen. of a five-year-old with his younger brother. That's, no, that's uncalled for. Greener than a sack. 
happening. I'm not good with all of these southern phrases. Already, you can't win on the It's a champion's advantage. Oh no. Look at this. This is a mugging. This is this is a sheer beatdown of Lord Beckett. You can't treat nobility like this. He's a he's a Scottish lord. A Scottish lord for Christ's sake. The panty 
dropped the four deck and he's using 